Welcome back to Kids News. Every week, Mr. Carpet drills us with another science experiment. This week, Kids News reporters Bronwyn Claggett and Elizabeth Parsons show us how to make instant ice cream with liquid nitrogen. It's this week's Weird Science. Hey everybody, we're here at Weir High School with Mr. Carpet, and we're going to learn about instant ice cream. That's correct, Bronwyn, and uh, we're going to use liquid nitrogen to make it, and when you take out the ingredients like sugar and everything, it tastes good, but it's like a coloring book, like see this coloring book? It's not finished. You know, there's pictures, but there's nothing there, but when you add liquid nitrogen, it will get ice cream, and it's like having a colored book. See, it's all done. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah but like you know. Oh, <laughs> okay, know you, you know that trick, and that I can't fool you, right? And then if, you know how it ends, though? If you don't mix up your chemicals right, you get nothing, see? Let me see. See? See, it's bang. And the way it works is on top you have a regular book, in the middle it's a coloring book, and on the bottom what is it? Plain. Plain. And we want to be in the middle when we make ice cream. Now, to make ice cream, there's various ingredients we need. The first one here is this what? Half and half. Half and half. And um, we have a quart. Shall we put in just a little bit of it? Or shall we well, well, kick it up a notch? <laughs> Bam, right, kick it up the notch, bam, there you go, that's, that's at it. Okay, and then the second ingredient is what? And are you ready to kick it up a notch? Bam! Bam, there we go, and we'll pour that in. And is one enough? No. no, I have two that's used to. Everything's already uh, pre-measured. And are we ready to kick it up a notch? <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll kick it up a notch. And here we have the milk. And now we're going to add some sugar. And I'll have a little bit of sugar. I'll pour it in. Get a little bit more. And shall we fill it to the top? Yeah. And we're kicking it up a notch. There you go. And to get a little bit more. And kick it up a notch. Bam. Now, to make ice cream taste really good, um, in the old days, uh, they used to use uh, eggs. And eggs always aren't all that safe. So we're going to add um, egg. egg alternative? Yeah, egg alternate or alternative. And um, we'll take this off. And probably um, half a um, quarter of a cup is equal to an egg, and we need four of them. And let's add maybe half of this. Half of this, we'll pour it in. Okay, and I'll set it on the side. Now, we have uh, three other ingredients to add, but before we do that, we need to do what? Let mix it. Mix it. So let me start it off. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. And we'll do, hang on, move it towards you. Strong wind and mix, move it around. See? Let's add some chocolate to it. Should I add some more? Okay, so that's what? Kick it up a notch. Bam! And let's see what? Let's kick it up a notch. Yeah! Here you go. Yeah, here. You want to pour some in? Pour a little bit more chocolate in. Oh, oh, that's enough. That's enough there. Um, more chocolate. And uh, let's take a little bit of vanilla. And take one spoon of vanilla, pour it in. Can we do another one? Yeah. And what do we say? If you want to add more, we're doing what? We're kicking it up a notch. There you go. <laughs> Okay, here you go. Here's the second one. And Elizabeth, do you want to blend it up a little bit? 
Now these are ingredients that you add to regular ice cream. Uh, here, you can grab it. But when you make um, liquid nitrogen, when you make regular ice cream, you use real cold salt, and um, it tastes real good. But the best ice cream is ice cream that has really no ice crystals in it. And when you use liquid nitrogen, it actually makes the best ice cream. Now, there's only one part of this experiment I don't like. And you know what part that is? Uh, we have one ingredient left to add, liquid nitrogen. But you know what we have to do before we add it? No. Wait 15 minutes. Wait 15 minutes. So let's shut this off. I'll grab it. And uh, we'll wait 15 minutes. And we did a real good job uh, pouring it. But um, sometimes, like when you're pouring milk, um, you don't want it to spill and you can make a funnel. And here I have a picture of what? Milk. 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 And let me start uh, pouring it out, pouring it out, pouring it out. Okay, see? I'm still pouring it out, pouring it in here. Okay, and I, I poured out about how much of the milk? Half, right? And all the milk's in here, right? What happened to the milk? It disappeared. It disappeared. But did our... No. Did this disappear in there? No. no? no. So we'll wait 15 minutes and we'll make what? Ice cream. Ice cream. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Well, girls, you've been very uh, patient, and now we have one more secret ingredient, and what's that? Liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen, and sprinkles. Uh, that will be another ingredient to we'll add. Since um, liquid nitrogen can be uh, dangerous, we need um, to put our safety goggles on, and uh, we'll move all the ingredients that we threw in in the middle. And... I'm going to add about one and a half liters to begin. You could always add a little bit more. A little bit more here. Take this. Put my gloves on. And this is going to look like a mad science experiment. Yeah. Mad scientist experiment. Look oh, at that, awesome. look at that, look at that. Look. Oh, get in closer. Get in closer. Yeah, look at that. And now I'm going to grab it. And now you start mixing it. Look at that. Whoa, where'd the ice cream go? Huh? Well, it's not ice cream yet, but we're getting there. We keep mixing it and mixing it. Look at that, look at that. What do you think of this? Ice cream. It's getting there. See how it's freezing right away? And it's, well, not yet. Uh, we're getting ice cream, but what do you see underneath? It's still what, liquid underneath. So let me take um, more liquid nitrogen. And we're going to, what, kick it up a notch. Bam! There we go. Oh, that was hardly a bam. A little bit went in. Let me grab a little bit more liquid nitrogen from the doer. Uh, I'll bring the bigger one up. We won't add a lot, but just a little bit more I think it needs. I'll remove the cover. How big is that thing? Well, it holds 20 liters. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. And now let's pour some in. Are you ready? Kick it up a notch. Bam! Yeah. Okay. And I'll cover it up. Isn't that awesome? And then keep shaking it and shaking it. Oh, some of it is. Look at that, look at that. Keep mixing it and mixing it. You know, in some countries in Europe, 
when they're in a restaurant and they want the best tasting ice cream, I think in Belgium and other countries, in the kitchen, they actually have liquid nitrogen and they make it right there. Oh, well, I have enough for me. Well, no, no, that's enough for all of us. I think we can share all this ice cream. But uh, let me take a little bit on a cup. Yeah, I'll take a little cup here. We'll get a spoon out. Well, I have a scooper, actually. Look how you like our scooper here. Got a little cow. Got the cow on. And let me try a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, well, let me sample it first. I gotta make sure it's good enough. I have to. Go, go. Should I go for it? Go, go, go. Yeah. Mmm. It's good. Let me try. And grab yourself a plate. What should you think? Of? And we have better eating through science. We made ice cream using liquid nitrogen. Here you go, Ronwin. And um, we could probably take off our goggles now. The liquid nitrogen is gone. If um, if we need uh, more more ice cream if it's wet on the bottom we could add it later but here's the spoon for you spoon for you get oh yeah and we'll add the sprinkles yeah. and look at this let's have the two of you taste it at the very same time okay okay <laughs> oh this looks good um sometimes when we make it we would actually pour it into a cup for every student but i think this method works a little bit better well, hold on, hold on. We're going to taste it at the same time. It's sort of dry like dipping dots. Did you ever eat dipping dots? I had before. Mm -hmm. Dipping dots are made with liquid nitrogen. And I have a little bit more there. And are you ready? Each of you at the same time. Get in close together. Look ready? into the camera. And tell me what you think. Tastes like ice cream? Mm -hmm. And wasn't it fun to make? It looked like a um, science experiment bubbling everywhere. Uh -huh. And now we have all this ice cream for us to enjoy. Did you like this segment? Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. Now back to you guys at the Clay Center.